Hi, it's Alex here from the Nintu team. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Nintu templates with a Bricks Builder and Tailwind or Windham setup. So the first thing we're gonna do is jump over to our new website dashboard. Now on this site, it's bare minimum. There's almost no plugins. We essentially have just the Windham plugin activated and the default Bricks Builder theme. First thing we wanna do is import the, the Nintu child theme. So we're gonna to go to add new, upload theme, choose the child theme. That theme will be linked just down below and install now. Now this theme is super lightweight. It doesn't add any extra um, fancy libraries or scripts. All it does is adds a few lines of CSS to make bricks a little more compatible with Tailwind. So it's good to go, activate, and then under appearance themes, you'll now see your new Nintu child theme. Now that you have a child theme installed, this also means that you can add additional CSS or additional code under your customizer and it won't be replaced when Bricks updates their theme. From here, we wanna go and make sure Bricks is set up the right way. So we're gonna to go to Bricks, Settings, and we want to make sure that we have SVG uploads enabled and under the Builder Access tab, that we have code execution enabled for our user type as well. Once you're good to go, go ahead and save settings and go into Winden and make sure that we have both our brand colors configured as well as our dark mode toggle set up so that users can toggle between light and dark modes. To do that, we've already put together the code for you. Um, so you can jump over to our articles page. It's found just here and or just below this video actually. And you'll have the code that you need to import just here. So go ahead and copy that, jump back over to your settings, Winden, and under the Tailwind config tab, you can just copy every, uh, delete everything and paste in the new code. And in here, you can see that we have our dark mode now set to class, and we've defined our primary and neutral colors. Now let's say we wanted to change those primary neutral colors to something that's closer to your brand colors or that are your brand colors. There's lots of Tailwind color generators out there, um, my favorite one is this one here by Simon Griggs. I will also link it in the article down below. But essentially, all you need to do here is go pick out your primary brand color, drop it in the value swatch. Um, I'm going to pick a random one. Let's choose a nice sort of pinkish color. It's very bright. Okay, let's go with that. Uh, and what it will do is we'll generate a color palette. You can also add a second color palette if you wanted to do neutrals, let's say. So let's say I wanted to do some neutrals, I'll go similar shade, a little bit dark. Let's go something like that, probably a little bit bluer. And we can see then down below, we've got both our new neutral colors, it's called it brand, and our blue colors, which is our brand colors. Just for, so it makes sense, this would be our brand and this would be our neutrals. So we're gonna go here, copy our brand colors. We've got our shades from 50 to 900. Copy that, jump back to Winden, and under our primary brand colors here, so that's under the P, we can go and paste that in. And then we want to update our neutrals to match two. So we're gonna go over here, copy those, and under our neutral colors, under the N, we'll chuck them in. Once that's good to go, just scroll all the way down to the bottom and save changes. While you're editing, um, you might want to disable the cache or, cache or at least disable it for the admin so that uh, we see the latest changes without regenerating the cache. But that is pretty much our Winden config. From here, we want to go and find a template that we like. So I've opened one up here uh, on the Nintu template site. There's quite a few that you can go and pick from. Uh, let's just take this hero as an example. On the bottom right hand side, we'll say copy for Winden and Bricks. All you need to do is click that button, copy it, jump back to your website, we'll go and create a new page. Let's call this demo page, we'll publish it, edit with Bricks, and on our keyboard, we can go Control V or right click and paste. See, it's pasted it twice here. I don't need it twice. Uh, and you can see we've also updated here then the colors from what was on the original template, 
swatches here, our very red Nintu colors, to our new brand colors, which are our pink ones. Now you can also see it hasn't pulled in the pictures or the SVG icons. That's currently the way the system is set up with bricks. It's something we're working through with them. Uh, and hopefully in the near future, we'll also be able to import those two elements. In the meantime, we can just replace them. Uh, so I'm gonna go into here. Um, I see under my structure panel, I've got image, my picture. I can go pick out a new picture from my library. Pick one, let's say we go this one. And let's say we wanted to add a new icon. Uh, I like to use hero icons. Um, so you can just go into here, hero icons, pick out an icon that you like. Let's say I like the spider. Uh, click on the copy SVG button, jump back into your page, click where that icon is supposed to live, and then paste it in. And that's pretty much it. From there, you can go and save your page can go and preview it on the front end. And you'll see it's pulled in our template. It's nice and responsive. It's pulled in all the different breakpoints it needs to. And you're good to go. That is pretty much it. That is how we import our templates from Nintu into a Bricks Builder setup with Winden or Tailwind. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, always here to help, either in the comments down below, email, through our forums on our website, whatever is good for you. Um, otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.